<laughs> yes, I captured it. <laughs> Anytime I try to do Jack and Jacob's push, very awkward. Yeah, it's hard to do. I keep doing this. Yeah. You have to go at it flat like this. You yeah, to, it's very you have to scrape the table and do it. Very shovel. Plus you have to have this angle. So. Yeah, very shovelly. Yeah. Oh, I see. That's because you keep going into it straight. It's a side. Push it like here and then slice. So like that. And um, here. You no. Know, um, you have to hit it from the back. So this has to be perpendicular roughly to where you're aiming the ball. So if you're going there, it has to be, you have to hit it like here. Or, but you have to be like close to the table and it's not. It's not in front of you like this. It's off to the side. So if I if I do this and you want to aim straight, you have to hit it further back. Yeah, like that. But like your paddle's too high. Your paddle's too high. Your knuckles have to scrape the table. Yeah. Not up like that. Roughly parallel with the table. So you have to barely skim the table. You're, you're kind of hammer fisting it. You lay it flat, but, and then you, like you're gonna shave the table like that. Yeah. Yep, that's it. Yes, I'm enjoying. I only wanna try it because I'm trying to maintain the same grip for uh, back and bodies. Because I normally lose it. Open up, like, yeah. So you can do, uh, Release, open. That's usually when, well, that's the majority of pushes. The release. Yeah, the, the only thing, the advantage is to doing this one is you can you can come in like you're gonna push and flick. Like John Chica almost never flicks forehand, but Ma Long almost always does. Yeah, with this? Yeah. yeah. So the thing is, the trade-off is, like, like John Chica will move over and backhand flip before he tries to flick with his forehand. He does it, he does it occasionally, but it's hard to control. And it becomes long. Yeah, that's it. Make sure you hit it like down here though. Yeah, right there. Yeah. And you kinda like just like you jabbed into it a little bit, that's kinda how it is. Yeah, there you go. So you can't go off the bounce. 
Uh, no, no. This is a on the rise, half on the rise. Ah, uh, that's why you can't. You do you get it off the bounce. No, no, you do. Like I do. Like I hit it like right off the bounce. But you have to slice it. And that's why you see, see look at where uh, I contact it. So it's like right down there. So you like, you're, you're slicing it right off the bounce like that. There's a hole. Yeah, there you go. So you want to catch it while it's coming up. And you might have to actually open it like this. So it's not always like flat. It's like, it's whatever angle you need. The difference is it's off to the side instead of like you're directing it like that. Good. Now handle it down. Yeah, that's how you get in the stroke. And then later you get the idea of keeping it low, like, but you're not, you're not really keeping it. No, that's too long. You can control it that way, but you want to get it close off the bounce. So, but you just play with it. I mean, it's not like a huge stroke. That's the word. Well, we wasted a bunch of balls that way, so it's good. Yes. <laughs> all about all the parties of them. Yeah.
Very weird. No more.